ve kendilerini bu programı onaylamak için ikna etmeye çalışıyor. Başbakan Popan diyor dün meşte yaptığı konuşmada şu anda birlik içerisinde olmaları gerektiğini ve şu anda Yunanistan'ın bir birliğe, bütünlüğe ihtiyaç olduğunu söyledi ve milletvekillerini vatansever duygularla hareket etmeye davet etti. Diğer yandan ise halkın tepkisi sürüyor. Bugün 48 saatlik grev başladı. Hem işçiler hem memurlar bugün grev yapıyorlar ve Atina sokakları oldukça hareketli eylemler başladı. Bu grevin hayatı nasıl etkilediğini bakacak olursak şu anda toplu taşıma araçları çalışmıyor. Yani otobüs, troleybüs ve tramvaylar çalışmıyor. Trenler çalışmıyor. Metroda çalışmayacaktı fakat metro ki grev e, ertelendi. Uçak e, seferlerinin bir kısmı iptal edildi. Bir kısmının ise saati değiştirildi. Çünkü e, uçaklar içinde hava kontrol sahalarında çalışanlar dörder saatlik e, iş bırakma eylemine gittiler. Bunun dışında Atina'da ve Selanik'te çöpler toplanmayacak bugün. Belediye başkanları e, halkın çöplerini dışarı bırakmaması konusunda da halkı uyardı. Kamu iktisadi teşebbüsleri de grevde bugün. Çünkü onların da bu yeni paket içerisinde özelleştirilmesi söz konusuydu. Bu özelleştirmeleri protesto etmek için de kamu iktisadi teşebbüslerinde çalışanlar da bugün görevde. E, ayrıca e, eylemler açısından hükümetin de, e, özel e, güvenlik önlemleri aldığını söylememiz mümkün. Polis yoğun güvenlik önlemleri aldı. Atina'ya dışarıdan e, başka illerden de polis memurları getirildi ve eylemlerde bir olay çıkmaması için e, özel e, tedbirler alındı. Derya Köseoğlu teşekkür ediyoruz Atina'dan aktardıkların için. Half an hour ago, the now at Parliament shouting against the government. A woman even said these measures will be her tombstone. Uh, the government with these measures is essentially relinquishing its pledge to protect the low income earners. So a lot of anger in the streets expected today, Jeannie. Now, Natalie, the French President Nicolas Sarkozy yesterday said France is working with private lenders on a 30-year payback plan in order to give Greece some more time to get on top of its debt. How are people there reacting to that proposal? Well, an overall positive response. Uh, commentators last night scrutinized the idea, weighing the pros and the cons. Others are more muted, waiting to see how the rating agencies would qualify this proposal. However, the stock exchange this morning did open positively. It, go, it went up by 1.8% only 15 minutes ago, uh, following the sentiment of its Asian counterparts. But the Greek media has welcomed the proposal. The headline of Liberal Panea, the Daily, read a French key to the debt problem, a formula, they said, that is considered the best solution to extending repayment of Greek bonds. Um, while the conservative Kathimerini quoted French President Sarkozy, the remarks that exiting the euro for Greece would essentially be madness. So overall, a positive response from Greece today. All right. Thanks so much, Natalie Savarikas, for that update from Athens. Well, as the International Monetary Fund continues to demand cutbacks in Greece, it's still trying to figure out just who is going to be at the head of its organization. It looks now like French Finance Minister Christine Lagarde is a shoo-in for that job. The announcement could be made sometime today. Now, Lagarde would become the first woman to lead the lending organization. She would, of course, replace the former IMF chief, Dominique Soscan. He resigned last month after being charged with sexually assaulting a housekeeper in a New York City hotel. Some Greeks turned on each other. And what do you think about the people who have been making the violence? They don't represent what we're trying to say to everyone. They don't represent this peaceful protest. They, they're just uh, trying to separate us as a country and uh, show uh, just the violence. That's all. Yanis, what do you make of the way today's demonstrations have unfolded? Well, I think it's uh, fairly typical that a very small minority is able to uh, disrupt uh, protests that begin peacefully, especially very large protests. I think it's something that uh, the government often allows to happen because uh, it aids her to, to paint the protest as uh, violent. Uh, When you say the government allows it to happen, are you saying there are agents provocateurs in the crowd? Well, there have been uh, cases uh, demonstrated uh, in videos of people who have uh, been smashing things up and then they are seen consorting with the police. So obviously there have been uh, individual cases. We don't know how rampant it is, but uh, it has certainly taken place. Yes, I, I should say that if you're watching and you're seeing green lights, there's someone is with a laser light down in the crowd who's trying to shine 
the light into our eyes up here. So if you're suddenly seeing green flashes on your television screen, that will explain it. What do you think is going to happen tomorrow, Maria? What happens if the Parliament does vote for this austerity programme? Well, uh, your first uh, question, right? Uh, what will happen tomorrow? I don't know. I really hope that uh, more people will come and more people, more people will uh, protest with no violence at all. So we can uh, show what uh, we really want in the best way. And that's all. Do you think that if the parliament votes for it, that will be the end of the protests? No, absolutely not. Uh, there are uh, a great number of people from very different backgrounds who are very, very upset about what's going on. Uh, some of them rightfully so, others less so. And the, the great uh, challenge for the government, uh, if the, the measures pass tomorrow, uh, is to take some drastic measures, first of all against uh, tax cheats, and second of all uh, uh, against uh, excessive spending in the public sector, to really show that it is a reforming government and is not trying to continue in the old bankrupt ways. Whatever happens tomorrow, whether it's voted for or voted against, it seems that protest will continue. Yes, because we don't uh, trust this government at all, whatever they say. So the protest will go on uh, because we want them to go away. OK, all right. Well, both of you, thank you very much indeed for being with us here on uh, BBC News. Um, there is a kind of joyous atmosphere there in the square. If I can just move you out the way, and just show you that corner of uh, Syntagma Square, which is now empty, which is where uh, the, the police have been firing the tear gas in the past uh, few minutes, and they have just absolutely cleared that section uh, of the crowd and the line of uh, riot police there, stopping anyone getting anywhere close to the parliament, and these green laser lights uh, seeming to be aimed at <laughs> anyone and everyone uh, at the moment, and particularly, well, to some extent, us as well. But from here in Athens, ahead of tomorrow's crucial vote, where the demonstrations are sure to continue, it's back to you in the studio in London. Well, it's just been announced that the next person to head the International Monetary Fund, one of the top jobs in the uh, international finance world, will be Christine Lagarde. Mr Lagarde, who's at present the French finance minister, has been chosen by consensus. She replaces Dominique Strauss-Kahn who uh, resigned earlier this year after facing serious uh, check sex charges in New York. Michel Fleury has the story. With you? No, we're not revising the plan, we're not revising the program. Okay, why are we seeing the dissension in the ranks? We had one actually go on international television and suggest that he was not going to vote with you. Yeah, MPs can express their views. Uh, they're free to express their views on, uh, on the basis of our constitution. We're engaging in constructive debate and, and dialogue with them. I repeat again, we're not dictating behavior, but we expect that all of them will consider uh, the important conditions of our country and will vote in favor of London. You're a very respected LSE economist by training. What's the most compelling argument that you can give to the Greek people that uh, this economy can handle $40 billion worth of cuts and an economy around $300 billion in size these days? Yes, this is a plan for the next uh, four years, I have to say. This year we're going to have uh, cuts to the tune of about 6.4 6 billion euros. It's not 40... Uh,